we are the Bowtie Travelers. Welcome to Kyoto. of sightseeing has brought us today to Kyoto, the farmer capital of Japan. And Kyoto is the best place to be. It conjures up the classic image of Japan, streets of traditional wooden houses, the click-clack of geta, traditional wooden sandals on the paving stone. Geisha, passing in a flourish of brightly colored silks and temple pagodas surrounded by cherry blossom. With our three days packed itinerary, we hope to sightsee the essence of what makes this historic city a place of endless fascination and delight. Day 1 Ryonji Temple Kinka Kuji Nishiki Market Ryoanji is a temple located in North Kyoto, Japan, affiliated with a branch of Zen Buddhism. The followers of Zen Buddhism pursue enlightenment or awakening by means of self-introspection and personal experience in daily life. For sightseers, the most important feature of Ryoanji is its mysterious rock garden the most celebrated in Japan. Ryohanji Temple has attracted many visitors to its rock garden, but no one knows for certain when the rock garden was made, who designed it, or what the designer's intentions were. We are at the Ryohanji Temple and this is the rock garden in the Rohanji temple. This rock garden is one of the most famous rock gardens in all Japan and people come from all over the world just to see this rock garden. So there's a lot of mysteries surrounding this rock garden. So one of the mysteries of this garden is, is that there is about 15 rocks in this garden in any one angle you cannot see uh, all of the 15 rocks always one will be missing from the view it is traditionally said that only through attaining enlightenment would one be able to view the 15th stone. Focusing your mind on one rock only will improve your concentration and bring focus to achieve your hopes and purpose in life. The garden is surrounded by a wall of clay which was boiled in oil. 
giving it its unique appearance. From Ryuanji, there is approximately 14 minute bus ride to Ginkankuji, which is located in the far northwest of Kyoto. Ginkankuji, the Golden Pavilion. It is one of Kyoto's leading temples. It is probably Kyoto's most famous site. It was built at the end of the 14th century originally as a villa for Ashikaga Yoshimitsu, the shogun at the time. After Yoshimitsu's death, as indicated in his will, the building was converted into a temple of the Zen sect of Buddhism, which is famous for the practice of Zazen or religious meditation. The top two floors are completely covered in god leaf, and nothing is as symbolic of Kyoto as King Kakuji's god reflection shimmering across the rippled surface of the mirror pond, Kiyokochi, before it. Not even the crowds of sightseers, and they come by the thousands, can detract from Kinkakuji's undoubted splendor. The current god leaf coated reconstruction was unveiled in 1955. Five years after the 14th century original was torched by one of the temple's monks. Recognized by UNESCO as World Cultural Heritage, Kinkatkuji is one of the historical buildings most representative of Japan. Our next stop is the Nishiki Market, and to get there from Kinkakuji, it took us approximately 42 minutes, a combination of walking and bus ride. Nishiki Market is a narrow, Five block long shopping street, lined by more than 100 shops and restaurants. Known as Kyoto's Kitchen, this lively retail market specializes in all things food related. Nishiki Market has a pleasant but busy atmosphere. It opens between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. We happen to be here after 6 p.m. when most of the shops are already closed. This didn't stop us from exploring the market. You'll find all the major ingredients of traditional Kyoto cuisine on display here. Some shops sell takeaway food like skewers of yakitori or sashimi and few sit-down restaurants can be found amid the shops. Day 2 Arashiyama Bamboo Grove Oko Shinsanso Garden Ten Ryunji Temple Iwatayama Monkey Park The Arashiyama Bamboo Grove is one of the top sites in Kyoto. It is a natural forest of bamboo located in Arashiyama, 
Kyoto, Japan. With its dense pathway of bamboo that stretches as far as the eye can see, the bamboo grove is certainly one of Japanese most iconic places. Its popularity actually reaches far beyond the frontiers of Japan and it is often listed as one of the most beautiful or must see before you die places on earth. We are at the Arashiyama bamboo grove. This is one of the most visited tourist attractions in western Kyoto. Uh, the site itself is quite inspiring. You have rows of tall bamboo shoots reaching up to the sky. While reaching up to the skies, the bamboos envelop a neat pathway between them, creating a working path that cuts through the bamboo grove, making for a pleasant and popular trek. When the sun is shining and there is a gentle breeze to cause the trees to sway, the setting becomes quite picturesque. other end of the bamboo forest trail sit Okoshisanto village. Formerly the estate of the famed film actor Okochi Tenjiro, this sibling villa and surrounding gardens are now open to the public. When you get into the garden, you start walking following a path through it. The villa grounds span across a huge 20,000 square meters, filled with beautiful gardens and impressive architecture. The buildings include the villa's Japanese house, a few tea rooms and a couple of Shinto shrines, all dotted around throughout the multi-level garden. Borrowed scenery, shakei in Japanese, it is one of the garden styles in Japan. Borrowed scenery means a garden where the background is incorporated into the design of the garden. The Okochi Senso Villa's garden is a good example of the style of garden. Fifteen minutes walk from Okochi Sanso will get you to Denryunji Temple. The mayor temple of the Rinzai school. It was built in 1339 on the farmer site of Emperor Godaigo's villa. The main attraction for sightseers is the temple's Zen garden dating back to the 14th century. The garden features a large pond which catches the reflection of the maple trees. It is another example of shakei, borrowed scenery. The steep mountains of Arashiyama form are perfectly incorporated into the design of the garden. You start by exploring the main hall and observing the famed garden and pond from inside the hall. Then you put your shoes back and explore the garden on foot.
a 26 minute walk from 10 Ryonji will get you to the Arashiyama Monkey Park Iwatayama. Along the way, you can contemplate the beauty of Arashiyama. Arashiyama is one of the most popular tourist areas in Kyoto. It's filled with temples, shrines, villas and palaces, and beautiful gardens and mountains. The entrance to the park is located at the base of Iwata Mountain. Thus, a 20 minute mountain hiking is required to reach the top. And it was worth it. Arashiyama Monkey Park Iwatayama is a monkey paradise where approximately 120 Japanese macaques roam freely in natural surroundings. You can get close to the monkey in their natural habitat. Monkey food is sold in the park and can be fed to the monkeys from within the rest area. The lovely expressions of the monkeys that are sure to put a smile on your face is one of the park's main attractions. The feeding area at the top of the hill also provides a great panoramic view of Kyoto. Day 3 Fushimi Inari Taisha Kiyomizu Dera Tango Geisha District Geo Yasaka Shrine Kyoto Tower Fushimi Inari Shrine is an important Shinto shrine in southern Kyoto. Thousands of sightseers flock this site every day. We are at the Fushimi Inari Taisha. This is the head shrine of Inari. It's located at the base of the Mount Inari, which has 233 meters above the sea level. Fushimi Inari is the most important of several thousands of shrines dedicated to Inari, the Shinto god of rice, sake, and prosperity, and patron of business merchants and manufacturers. Foxes are thought to be Inari's passengers, resulting in many fox statues across the shrine grounds. <laughs> Its long tunnels of vermilion Tory Gate, which straddle a network of trails behind its main buildings, are the main attraction for overseas sightseers. The trails lead into the wooded forests of the sacred. It has like sub shrines going. Uh, around for about four kilometers and it takes up to two hours to walk through all those shrines. Not to be confused with often similarly styled Buddhist temples, 
Fushimi Inari Taisha belongs to Shinto, the ethnic religion of the people of Japan practiced by over 70% of the population. In Shinto, shrines are devoted to the worship of multiple gods called Kami. One or more Tori gates mark the approach and entrance to a shrine. A combination of metro ride and walking will get you from Fushimi Inari Taisha to Kiyomizu Dera Temple. Kiyomizu Dera, literally, pure water temple is one of the most celebrated temples of Japan. It was founded on the site of the Otawa waterfall in the wooded hills east of Kyoto. <laughs> Built without the use of nails, the main hall houses the temple's primary object of worship, a small statue of the 11 faced thousand armed cannon. The most well known aspect of Kiyomizu Dera is the huge veranda of the main hall. It juts out on wooden pillars and is an impressive sight. To jump from the balcony of Kiyomizu is an old Japanese saying meaning to do something daring and courageous. The Otawa waterfall is located at the base of Kiyomizu Dera's main hall. Its waters are divided into three separate streams. Each stream's water is said to have different benefits, namely to cause longevity, success at school, and a fortunate love life. However, drinking from all three streams is considered greedy. A combination of work and bus ride will get you from Kiyomizu Dera to Chion. Chion Kyoto is one of the most well known geisha districts in Japan with beautiful preserved architecture and traditional customs and entertainment. The streets of Jion are characterized by old wooden townhouses, mashiya, which contain tea houses, oshaya, shops and restaurants. These buildings give the district a beautiful old world charm and understandably the area is very popular with tourists. Meeting one Kyoto's geisha is a magical and memorable experience. Geisha are highly skilled entertainers who appear at high-end dinners, private parties and special events to add a special touch to the proceedings. There is just a seven minute walk from the Jion corner to Yasaka Shrine. Yasaka Shrine, also known as Jion Shrine, is one of the most famous shrines in Kyoto. Founded over a thousand and three hundred fifty years ago, the shrine is located between the popular Jion district and Higashiyama district and is often visited by tourists working between the two districts. <laughs> 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 
Yasaka Shrine is also a spiritual spot for romantic blessings. In front of it stands a dance stage with hundreds of lanterns that get lit in the evenings. Each lantern bears the name of a local business in a return for a donation. There is a 20 minute bus ride from Yasaka Shrine to the Kyoto Tower. Standing 131 meters tall, just across from Kyoto Station, Kyoto Tower is Kyoto's tallest structure and rare modern iconic landmark in the city famous for its ancient temples and shrines. The tower was completed in 1964. A viewing platform is located 100 meters above ground and affords a 36 degree view of Kyoto and as far as Osaka on clear days. Kyoto Tower stands on top of a typical commercial building which contains souvenir shops, restaurant and hotel, as well as public bath in the basement. As Japanese farmer capital and seat of the imperial court for over a thousand years, Kyoto offers a rich culinary tradition. The local food culture is diverse and ranges from aristocratic Kaiseki Ryori course dinners to the vegetarian Shujin Ryori of monks and a simple Obanzai Ryori home style cooking. While some restaurants look to the past for inspiration, others experiment with new flavors. Fusion restaurants that combine ingredients and technique of Kyoto cuisine with cooking styles from other parts of the world can also be found in the city.